Where your treasure is, there will your heart be also. God has given us unlimited treasures in his word. Every time we open it, we can discover a new treasure or admire an old one. What will we find today? Let's dig in. Here's Carla Early with Treasure Hunt in the Word. When God answers a prayer, what do we do? Far too often, we just kind of say, cool, and go on with life. That's what King Abijah did. He didn't even pray to start with. He just announced that God was going to give him victory. And when God did, he went back to walking in sin, just like his father had. King Asa, on the other hand, had a completely different response. After the victory, a prophet, Azariah, met him and announced, Hear me, Asa, and all of Judah and Benjamin. The Lord is with you while you are with him. If you seek him, he will be found by you. But if you forsake him, he will forsake you. At that, Asa gathered the people together, including anyone from Israel who wanted to be a part of what God was doing. They made sacrifices to the Lord, and they all made a covenant to seek the Lord with all their heart and soul. They remembered Deuteronomy 4.29, which says, But from there you will seek the Lord your God, and you will find him if you seek him with all your heart and with all your soul. So did they find God? Second Chronicles 15.15 says, And all Judah rejoiced at the oath, for they had sworn with all their heart and sought him with all their soul. And he was found by them, and the Lord gave them rest all around. In fact, for twenty years, the country had peace. King Asa and the people glorified the Lord, and he blessed them greatly. What a wonderful revival! Not only Judah and Benjamin, but those who served the Lord from Ephraim, Manasseh, and Simeon joined with them in the oath. It says they came over to him in great numbers from Israel when they saw that the Lord his God was with him. They moved from Israel where idolatry was becoming prevalent because they saw where God was at work and they wanted to join him. They wanted to be part of a nation who followed the Lord. They left their inherited property in the north so their children would be able to grow up in a place where they could worship the Lord. That's a big sacrifice. It reminds me of the pilgrims and other groups who came to America to be able to worship God freely. In fact, that's what we celebrate today on Thanksgiving. Even today, we have that great privilege to be able to worship the way we choose. Many countries do not allow that freedom, and Christians are persecuted, imprisoned, or even killed. I love how it said, the people rejoiced with trumpets and loud shouts. Asa didn't force them into this covenant to search for God. He led them. But the Lord had prepared their hearts to joyfully follow Asa in seeking the Lord so he could bless them. Our political leaders today aren't necessarily leading us to seek God, but each of us can make our own covenant to seek the Lord and to pray for revival in our churches, cities, and nations, for God to prepare people's hearts to seek him joyfully. As the prophet Azariah encouraged King Asa, I want to encourage you today. But you, be strong and do not let your hands be weak, for your work will be rewarded. You can contact us at treasurehuntintheword at gmail.com. We'd love to hear the treasures God has given you through his word. You can listen to other episodes at our website, which you can find in the description below. Thanks for listening, and remember... Where your treasure is, there will your heart be also.